Hi guys, David Coleman from WP Merrick. Today we're going to look at a service called Geotargeting WP, which is a geolocation and geotargeting service for WordPress users. Let's begin by looking at their website. They offer a premium API service that allows you to get IP information about your visitors. And this allows you to deliver content and redirect your visitors based on their geolocation. To use the service, you either pay for credits or pay a subscription cost. There's lots of reasons to use geotargeting. I mentioned many of them in the article, but you might have a worldwide audience with different interests. You might have affiliate sites that you need to send different bonuses to, or you might want to sell different products based on their location. Geotargeting WP comes with many features. You can simplify targeting with regions made of countries, states, or cities. It's compatible with cache plugins, so you have the speed of cache. It works with firewall programs, so you can find out real geolocations and it works with e-commerce programs for setting up different products for different locations. Currently the service comes with two very powerful programs Geotargeting Pro and GeoRedirects. Geotargeting Pro allows you to target content based on country, states, and cities. It works with partial content or full posts or pages. It works with widgets, menu items, and again, it works with e-commerce programs such as WooCommerce and easy digital downloads. It includes real IP detection. Again, you can create regions. It has an automatic short code generator, which makes it easier. Real IP detection. You can target widgets, any widget you use with WordPress. It can geo-target menus or menu items. And Ajax mode allows you to use the service with cache. Looking further down, entire posts, pages, or products can be targeted. It works with visual composer elements. You can select from a country drop down widget to override geo targeting. It's developer friendly with many PHP functions and hooks. It works with their Pop-Ups Premium plugin to geotarget pop-ups, and it has a 99.9% .9 accuracy according to the developers. Let's look at the GeoRedirects plugin. Now, GeoRedirects allows you to send people to different websites or pages based on their location. Basically, you choose different redirection rules and determine a URL to send them to, how many times you want to redirect, the redirection code, and you can whitelist IPs if you want to exclude them. So GeoRedirect has many features, including redirecting by region, country, state, or city, has many redirection rules, including and, plus, or statements. It works with firewalls, so you'll get real IP detection Again, you can create regions based on countries or cities. It has unlimited redirections. And it has premium accuracy with their IP database. Let's go look at the pricing for using the service. Now, to use Geotargeting WP, they offer different pricing levels that come with different credits and the more credits you purchase the cheaper it is per credit. Credits do not expire and you can use them on unlimited websites. An API call is a request to their IP database to get information about your visitors location. And no you will not pay for every page view depending on your cache mode setup. You can use your own database if you have a subscription with the service. The pricing works on either credits or a subscription model. Credits do not expire. You can use GeoTargeting Pro and GeoRedirect plugins on as many sites as you wish as long as you have credits. They will alert you when your credits are low. There's no free trials. You can purchase low amounts of credits and try it. And when the program gets low on credits or runs out of credits, then the plugins will fall back to their default countries. There's good documentation for both plugins. Geotargeting Pro. They offer a extensive list of documentation, installation guide, configuration page, 
a quick start guide, FAQs, a support form, quick links throughout their documentation, short codes, PHP functions, and more. Same thing with geo redirects, support pages, links to documentation throughout, quick usage guide. They have a contact form if you have any questions or need for support. They have a blog with helpful articles about geo-targeting and using their plugins. Now to sign up, hit the Sign Up Now button. To register, you need to add your name, an email address, and a password. and then click the blue register button and you will get a verification email so go to your email program and then click the verify email button sent from geotargeting WP and then once you're verified you just need to purchase either credits as we saw or a subscription Let's talk about how to set up geotargeting WP. First of all, you want to go to Plugins, Add New, and upload the downloaded plugins you received from the service. We'll upload Geotargeting Pro. Click Install Now. And Activate. Now, to set up the program, you need to put in your API keys within the Settings page. And you can get this from the account page over at Geotargeting WP. Go to the API key link, copy the API key, go back to WordPress and paste it in. And do the same for the API secret. Paste it in. And then go down and make sure you save your settings. And you'll see it is, has a green check right next to it. So you're okay, you're good to go. One last thing you want to do is put in your domain to make sure it's whitelisted and will work with the service. So that domain is authorized. Again, you can buy either credits or a subscription. The more credits you buy, the cheaper it is per credit. You can see it's very cheap per credit and not every page needs to make an API call depending on how you have your cache set up. As far as subscription it's $29 per month. You can use your own database or $290 per year where you save on two months. Now that we install GeoTargeting Pro, let's install GeoRedirects. Let's upload the plugin. Click Install Now, and then Activate. So now we have both plugins. Let's go to the settings for GeoTargeting WP. Cash mode can possibly save you money by limiting API requests if you have many pages with geotargeting. Debug mode will put out debugging information as HTML in the footer of your site, which is good for troubleshooting. Fallback country lets you set a default country for visitors whose IP can't be detected. You can also set a default for bots and crawlers. If no country is specified, then their IP will be used instead. You can also create regions, which are based on countries and cities, and we'll look at regions later, but they help make targeting and short codes much easier to do. And finally, we have options for uninstalling geotargeting WP, as well as exporting and importing settings. And before we move on and show you how to use the program, you'll want to make some settings in GeoTargeting Pro. Ajax mode makes cache plugins compatible with the program. You can disable menu items and widget items for GeoTargeting as well. 
I also want to mention you can try out the free versions of the plugins by going to Add New and doing a search for Geotargeting Light. And in the results, you'll see Geotargeting Light, which is the free version of Geotargeting Pro. Click Install. And also Geo Redirects Light, which is the free version of Geo Redirects. We'll install the Geotarget drop down widget, but let's take a quick look at the Geotargeting WP menu. You can see debugging data where it will give you an IP test page. You can make it more compatible with caching. You can create geo redirects. We'll look at this more closely later. We've seen Geotargeting Pro. So let's go into Appearance, Widgets, and let's find the Geotarget drop down widget. We'll add that into our sidebar. And as you can see, you can choose regions to display in the widget. Which countries? Do we want to show flags of the countries? And you can show or hide the widget depending on region, country, state, or cities. And we'll look at regions a little later on. And then just click the Save button. Now let's go check out our demo site. And you can see here we have a drop down menu where visitors can choose a country to override the IP geolocation result. Let's look at geotargeting some WordPress content. Let's go to Page, Add New, create ourselves a new page, give it a title, and put in any content here. This content is for my test page. Hit Publish. And after you hit Publish, you can select whatever content you want and add a short code to it. We'll say only show the content in, you can choose a region, country, state, or city. We'll choose a country. So only show this content in the United States of America. Click Insert Shortcode, and it wraps the content with shortcode. Hit Update. Now we're going to test the content with the GeoTarget drop-down widget we just installed. So let's click the Preview Changes button. And right now it says we're from Burundi. And so we don't see any content. But if we scroll down, and we select the United States of America, we see our content. If we select Canada, it goes away. So in this case, the content only displays if you're a visitor from the United States. Now below the editor, you have geotargeting options for the entire post. Most of the same options, but you can also remove the post from the loop and show content if the user is not from the country. Another way to test for different countries is to put an ISO code in the URL of the page. For the United States, the ISO code looks like this, with US at the end. And there you go. Once we reload the page, we see the content again. So let's talk about regions and how they help with this service. Let's go to Geotargeting WP under the settings. If you move down the page a little bit, you'll see that you can create regions for countries or cities. And we're going to call this region North America, and we'll add different countries to it, United States, Canada, and Mexico, and add that region, and we can add more. And you can do the same with cities. We'll say Midwest, and we'll add the United States of America, and we'll choose cities for the Midwest, Chicago, Columbus, Indianapolis, and Detroit, and one more. Let's go with Milwaukee. And then move down and click Save Settings. And that's how you create regions. So we can select content and go into our Earth icon and say only show the content in a chosen region. We'll pick North America. Click Insert Shortcode and it's wrapped with the North America shortcode. Hit Preview Changes. For Turkey, we don't see it because obviously Turkey is not in North America. We see it for United States. Albania, not in North America, so we don't see the content. With Canada, we do. With Mexico, we also see the content. You can also show or hide menu items based on your visitors' locations. So go to Appearance, Menus, 
and you set up your menus as you normally would. Add your pages. And then let's say we want to hide our blog page. We would click the down pointing arrow and say never show menu item to visitors from North America. That's our region we saved earlier. Click Save Menu. And now when we reload our page, there's our blog. When we reload it, you see our blog link is now gone for visitors from North America. Let's look at setting up redirections with Geo Redirects. Go to Geo Targeting WP, select Geo Redirects, Add New, enter a title, and this is for internal use. This is an Apple redirect. Set up some redirection rules. We want to perform a redirect if the page they land on is equal to our about page and also and you can see all the different options you have here. If the user is from a certain country region which is equal to North America. So both these statements have to be true. You can also set up OR statements. The options are de destination URL. We want to send them to Apple. One time redirect, no. Exclude search engines, yes. Redirection code, a 302. You can exclude certain IPs from being redirected. So we click publish. And now when we go to our about page, they're redirected to Apple. So I just want to wrap up this review tutorial for geotargeting WP by touching on the fact that you can also geotarget any of the widgets either third-party or widgets that come with WordPress. So if we add recent posts and we open that up, we can see we can show or hide this widget based on the location of your visitors. And let's go drag in another one, Categories, and you can see you have the same options. So the program gives you the ability to do that with every widget, which can be very powerful. So that's it guys for geotargeting WP. As you can see it gives you lots of options to target content to visitors from specific locations as well as redirect visitors to different pages and different sites. Thanks for watching guys. This is David Coleman from WP Mayor.